We apologize for the reposting of this video, but many of our earlier Naruto videos were edited in a style that received copyright claims, resulting in sections of the videos being removed. In order to maintain the quality of the channel and to have full versions of the videos uploaded, we will be re-editing them in a style that complies with Naruto's copyright policy. So with that being said, we will be reposting characters we've already covered throughout the next few weeks, with plenty of new ones mixed in as well. Thank you for understanding, and please enjoy the video. This video was made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of Minato Namakaze from Naruto Minato Namakaze was the fourth Hokage of Konohagakure. He was renowned all over the world as Konoha's Yellow Flash. He died during the Nine-Tailed Demon Fox's attack, sacrificing his life to seal a part of the Nine-Tails into his newborn son, Naruto Uzumaki. Welcome to the Yamagi. In today's video, we're going over the life of Minato Namikaze. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Early Life Minato entered Konoha's academy with the dreaming of earning the villagers' respect and recognition by becoming Hokage. When Kushina Uzumaki moved to Konoha, she was placed in the same class as Minato. Minato was immediately drawn to her bright red hair, finding it beautiful. Minato was a natural prodigy as a ninja, the likes of which only appears once in a generation. When he was added to a genin team under the leadership of Jiraiya, Jiraiya took a special interest in Minato and took him on as his apprentice teaching him many of his own signature abilities. In time, Minato's exceptional skills led Jiraiya to believe he might be the child of the prophecy, someone who would someday save the world. Years later, after they graduated and became ninja, Kushina was kidnapped by Kumogakure forces. Konoha mobilized its ninja to retrieve her, but only Minato noticed the strands of red hair Kushina left behind to mark their path. Minato, acting alone, rescued her from her captors. On their way back to Konoha, Minato confessed his admiration for her hair and her strength, causing Kushina, who had previously believed Minato unreliable and even girly, to fall in love with him. Konoha's Yellow Flash Minato and Kushina were a couple from the time that he rescued her, and with his love, Kushina was able to keep the Nine Tails sealed within her at bay. They eventually married. From observing a tailed beast ball, Minato began a three-year process of creating the Rasengan, the height of shape transformation. He would spend the rest of his life trying to combine it with his own nature. After proving himself an accomplished and responsible ninja, Minato was placed in charge of his own team, consisting of Rin Nohara, Obito Uchiha, and Kakashi Hatake. In the anime, the third Hokage gave Minato the special task of helping Kakashi overcome the bitterness caused by his father's death and remind him of the humid element of being a ninja. Minato gave his team a bell test upon its formation in order to teach them the value of teamwork. Minato often held back less against the prodigious Kakashi than with Rin and Obito, so they couldn't obtain bells without teamwork. Unfortunately, Kakashi realized this, but only used Obito and Rin as a means to an end to obtain the bells. Nonetheless, he passed them because they accomplished the goal of the test by working as a team. Although he did encourage them to improve their teamwork afterwards, a message that Obito and Rin took to heart, but fell on deaf ears with Kakashi. When Konoha became involved in the Third Shinobi World War, Minato's obligations became split between training his students and helping the war effort. During a mission to Kusagakure to destroy the Kanabi Bridge, Minato transferred leadership of the mission to Kakashi, who had recently become a Jonin, while he headed to the front lines. He met up with the surviving and outnumbered Konoha ninja and single-handedly wiped out the opposing Iwagakure forces. In the anime, his victory in this battle against a thousand ninja convinced the third Tsuchikage to accept a peace treaty. When he rendezvoused with his team afterwards, he found Kakashi and Rin surrounded by Iwa nin, Obito already having been lost. He rescued them, helped them complete their original mission once they recovered, and returned to Konoha with them to mourn Obito. Minato's competing obligations would later repeat the tragedy of Obito's death. While he was away on another mission, Rin was kidnapped by Kiragakure and died during Kakashi's attempt to retrieve her. Minato encountered A of Kumogakure a number of times during the war. During their first meeting, Minato and A fought with their speed, with Minato proving the faster. He received orders to retreat before their competition could resolve, but he lingered to compliment A and his brother B, a Jinchuriki like Kushina. He encouraged A to take care of B and remember he was a person. A pursued Minato, so Minato moved against B, threatening to kill him if A didn't let him and his team go. Minato was confident he and A would someday meet as Kage. 
fourth Hokage. For his performance during the war, Minato was chosen over Orochimaru to become the fourth Hokage. He taught the Flying Thunder God technique to the Hokage Guard Platoon to better aid them in their duties of serving the Hokage at any given time. In the anime, he also tried to help Kakashi, now an Anbu, emerge from the darkness he'd fallen into after Obito and Rin's deaths. During the gradual transfer of responsibilities from the third Hokage to him, the third advised Minato to restore Kakashi's value of life by tasking him with protecting Kushina during her pregnancy. As a Jinjuriki, the strain of childbirth would weaken the seal keeping the Nine Tails sealed into Kushina. For that reason, special precautions had to be taken. The child would secretly be delivered in a remote location outside the village, with barriers around the area and several Anbu guards as extra protection. Minato was not greatly worried about the birth, and in fact gave Kakashi the day off in gratitude for his good work. He and Kushina had already decided on a name for their son, Naruto, after the main character of Jiraiya's first book, hoping that their Naruto would be just as determined as the character, and thus its author. Jiraiya tried to convince them to make a different choice, since that would make him Naruto's godfather, but they insisted that this was a good thing. Naruto was born on the night of October 10th. Only moments after the birth, Minato began making preparation to restore the Nine Tails' weakened seal, but he was interrupted by the arrival of a masked man, otherwise known as Tobi. Tobi killed the Anbu guards and midwives and took the newborn Naruto hostage, threatening to kill him if Minato didn't back away from Kushina. Minato immediately took Naruto back from him, yet discovered explosive tags had been placed on Naruto. Minato was forced to teleport away to keep Naruto from harm, allowing Tobi to escape with Kushina. He found a safe place for Naruto and teleported to Kushina in time to save her from being killed by the Nine Tails, extracted from her body by Tobi. He reunited mother and son before heading out to protect the village. Minato returned to the village in the early stages of the Nine Tails attack on Konoha, arriving just in time to teleport away a tailed beast ball before it destroyed the Hokage Rock. He attempted to reach the third Hokage so he could inform him of what happened, but was interrupted by Tobi who tried to warp him away. Minato reacted in time to escape, but Tobi pursued him. Because Tobi was controlling the Nine Tails' actions, defeating him was of prime importance in order to save Konoha. Minato initially struggled to successfully strike him, but after several failed attacks, he finally hit him with a Rasengan and branded him with a Flying Thunder God Seal, allowing him to teleport to Tobi whenever he wanted. Then he used a Contract Seal on Tobi to release the Nine Tails from his control, forcing him to flee. No longer being controlled, the Nine Tails began retreating from the village, though it continued to attack the Konoha ninja that pursued it. As it prepared another tailed beast ball, Minato once again arrived in time to stop it, this time by dropping Gamabunta on top of it. He had Gamabunta keep it restrained while he gathered the chakra needed to transport the Nine Tails to Naruto and Kushina's location, the farthest from the village he could get. Kushina restrained it and erected a barrier so that it couldn't escape when they decided what to do. Already dying from the Nine Tails' removal, Kushina offered to have it sealed back into her so it would die with her. Minato rejected this, believing the Nine Tails' power would be needed in the future if and when Tobi struck again. Remembering Jiraiya's words about the child of the prophecy, Minato decided to believe that Naruto was that child and that he would someday save the world. To prepare Naruto for this, Minato would make Naruto the Nine Tails' new Jinchuriki so he could make use of its strength. Because the Nine Tails chakra was too immense to seal into an infant, Minato used the dead demon consuming seal to cut its chakra in half, sealing the yin half in himself. Realizing what they were planning, the Nine Tails tried to kill Naruto, but Minato and Kushina used themselves as shields. With his last ounce of strength, Minato summoned Geratora, gave him the key to the seal he would use on Naruto, and sent him to Jiraiya. Meanwhile, Kushina told Naruto how much his parents loved him, which Minato seconded. He sealed the Nine Tails' yang half into Naruto, weaving Kushina's chakra into the seal that she could someday assist Naruto with learning to control the Nine Tails and its chakra. He mingled in some of his own chakra too, programming it to activate if the seal was ever about to break so that he could restore it. Seeing the third Hokage nearby, Minato communicated to him a final request for the villagers of Konoha. To think of Naruto as a hero and not the container of the monster that caused so much death and destruction. With that, his soul was consumed by the Shinigami, ending Minato's life. Pain's Assault during his fight with Pain, Naruto is nearly tempted by the Nine Tails to remove its seal. This activates the safeguard Minato placed on the seal, causing his imprint to appear within Naruto's subconscious and stop him. Minato says that he isn't happy to see the Nine Tails again, but at the same time admits that its actions have allowed him to see his son. 
Naruto picks up on this and, never having known his parents' identities, is overjoyed to meet his father. The Ninetales keeps threatening to kill Minato while they talk, so he and Naruto relocate. Naruto is angry that his own father would seal the Ninetales within him and punches Minato out of frustration, which he understands and apologizes to Naruto for. He quickly gets over it, noting that as the son of the fourth Hokage, he can handle it. Minato's time with Naruto is limited, so he does a quick rundown of the things he has already observed through Naruto. That Pain has destroyed Konoha and killed Jiraiya. Despite what he's done, Minato suggests that Pain is only a symptom of the Shinobi system and that he's being taken advantage of by Tobi. Naruto is overwhelmed, unsure if he can forgive Pain or do anything to stop the cycle of hatred that produced him, but Minato responds that he has faith in Naruto. He restores the Ninetales seal before disappearing. Power in the anime, when Naruto nearly loses control after his clone absorbs the Ninetales chakra, Minato appears before him again to restore the seal. Once again, Minato voices his confidence in his son and his ability to overcome any adversity. The Fourth Shinobi World War Climax At the request of Sasuke Uchiha, Orochimaru releases the souls for the first four Hokage from the stomach of the Shinigami so he can reincarnate them. After taking in their surroundings, the first and second Hokage are excited to meet Minato, the fourth, and take him as a sign of the village's prosperity. Minato says he does not know since he died before the third Hokage did. When Sasuke talks to the first Hokage, Minato detects Naruto's chakra and is glad to sense that he has gained full control of the Ninetales. From listening to the four Hokage, Sasuke decides to side against Tobi and Madara Uchiha in the ongoing fourth Shinobi World War. The Hokage are allowed to help as well, and they set out for the site of the allied shinobi forces battle with the Ten Tails. Minato, eager to see Naruto, arrives first, just in time to warp away the Ten Tails Beast Ball, saving Naruto and the allies. He introduces himself to Sakura Haruno and asks if she's Naruto's girlfriend. Sakura becomes angry and hits Naruto due to his answer, reminding Minato of Kushina. When the other Hokage arrive, they jointly erect a barrier to confine the Ten Tails. Sometime later, Tobi appears above the Ten Tails and begins reviving Madara, which the Alliance focuses its efforts on preventing. Minato cannot leave his position or the barrier will fall, so he sends a Shadow Clone to help. Because Tobi is still branded with the Flying Thunder God seal from the last encounter, the Shadow Clone is able to teleport to him and strike him down. It's only after he attacks that he realizes Tobi is his old student, Obito Uchiha. The attack ends up coming too late and Obito seals the Ten Tails into himself, becoming his Jinchuriki. After Obito destroys the barrier, the first and second engage him to determine his new abilities, leaving Minato to get everyone else to a safe distance. Birth of the Ten Tails Jinchuriki Minato joins the offensive against Obito. He can no longer teleport directly to Obito because the Flying Thunder God seal has disappeared from his body, so he must engage him directly. Just before they clash, Obito, having just now struggled to control the Ten Tails' power, finally masters it and strikes at Minato. He severs Minato's right arm and plants a truth-seeking ball on him, which Tobirama teleports away before it detonates. Minato, the second, Naruto, and Sasuke coordinate their efforts to attack Obito with Flying Thunder God Mutually Instantaneous Revolving Technique, but Obito emerges without damage. What's more, Minato's arm is not regenerated, indicating that Obito's truth-seeking balls can nullify the advantages of the impure world reincarnation. Obito traps the Alliance in his own barrier and prepares to destroy them all with a barrage of tailed beast balls. With little time to act, Naruto forms a plan. He and Minato link their respective Kurama's chakra, which teleports in all of the allied forces that Naruto had shared its chakra with, and lets Minato teleport them all out of the barrier. Minato is very impressed by Naruto's quick thinking and says he wishes he had more of a chance to talk to him. Naruto explains there's no need as he's already met Kushina and heard everything. Minato is moved to tears with pride. Having learned that Obito is susceptible to Senjutsu, Minato prepares for an assault while Naruto enters Sage Mode. They both then enter Tailed Beast Mode and attack with a combined Rasengan, breaking Obito's defense and forcing him to manifest the Ten Tails tree form. They evade the tree's roots, but Minato's chakra levels are severely depleted. He is forced to keep his distance and watch as Naruto leads the allied shinobi in another assault against Obito. When the Alliance starts to strip the Tailed Beast from Obito's body, Minato helps Naruto pull the fragments of Kurama's chakra Obito's taken, and ultimately, they succeed. Obito is unable to move after his defeat and Kakashi moves in to kill him. Minato stops him, having sensed Obito's change of heart while he was removing Kurama's chakra. While Naruto and the Allies leave to confront Madara, Minato and Kakashi stay with Obito. 
Obito reflects on his actions and decides he has done terrible things, which he wants to make amends for by using the Samsara of Heavenly Life technique to revive those he's killed. While he is forming the hand seals, Black Zetsu emerges from the ground and takes control of his body. Minato and Kakashi are confused, so Obito explains he has been forced to revive Madara instead. Black Zetsu also tries to take Obito's Rinnegan to deliver to Madara. Minato and Kakashi move to stop it, but can't do anything without harming Obito. Before Black Zetsu assumes full control of his body, Obito pleads with Minato and Kakashi to destroy the Rinnegan at any cost. Right before Minato can attack, Yin Kurama alerts him to Naruto's loss of Yang Kurama. He is soon brought to Minato's side with Sakura performing emergency life support and Gara explaining that the only chance of saving Naruto's life is if he's given Yin Kurama. Just as Minato starts the transfer, Black Zetsu intercepts him and takes Yin Kurama for itself. Madara arrives immediately afterwards, now the Ten Tails new Jinjuriki, and intent on taking Obito's Rinnegan. Minato enters Sage Mode and attacks him alongside Kakashi, but they are easily repelled and Minato loses his other arm. Before Madara can take what he wants, Obito reasserts control of his body and with some help from Kakashi, escapes with Naruto and Sakura using Kamui. Might Guy arrives, ready to give his life to defeat Madara. With his energy and arms gone, Minato can do very little to help directly, but at least he can give Guy an opening. He instructs Rock Lee to throw one of his flying thunder god kunai at Madara's truth-seeking balls, which Minato teleports in order to catch several and escape with them, allowing Guy to initiate his assault. Minato, meanwhile, teleports to the Hokage Rock where he remains with the inert truth-seeking balls. He later witnesses the other's failure when the infinite Tsukiyomi is cast and Konoha's villagers are entwined by the god, nativity of a world of trees. He attempts to cut some people from the tree, but has no success as another branch simply forms and imprisons them again. Kaguya Otsutsuki strikes. Minato returns to the battlefield and reunites with the other Hokage, the only ones unaffected by the infinite Tsukiyomi. As they try to figure out what they can do to help, the four Hokage are met by the spirit of the Sage of the Six Paths, who recruits their help. Combining efforts with the spirits of the other deceased Kage, they summon Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, Sakura, Madara, and the tailed beasts back from Kaguya's dimension. Minato congratulates Naruto on finally ending the war and wishes him a happy 17th birthday. Happy with his son's prospects for the future, Minato and the other Kage are returned to the afterlife by the Sage of Six Paths, with Minato silently promising to tell Kushina everything that had occurred. Legacy After Minato died, the third Hokage reported to the villagers Minato's last request that Naruto be regarded as a hero. Very few were able to separate their hatred of the Ninetales from Naruto, prompting the third to forbid anyone from speaking of the Ninetales, hoping that the younger generation would not blindly hate Naruto as the rest of the villagers did. He had also concealed Naruto's relation to Minato in order to keep him safe from his father's enemies, and otherwise did his best to give Naruto a comfortable life. For years, Naruto did not know of his parents' identities, neither did most of Konoha. Even when he was not aware of his relation to Minato, Naruto still greatly admired the fourth Hokage, considering him a hero who gave his life for the village, and becoming overjoyed whenever their similarities were remarked upon. Before Naruto left Konoha to begin his training with Jiraiya, he looked at the fourth Hokage's face on the Hokage rock and asked him to look after him. After learning that Minato was his father, Naruto took pride in it and felt it was his responsibility to make his parents' sacrifices worth it. With Minato's death, the third was fourth to resume his position as Hokage, a role he filled until his death, never being able to find a replacement of Minato's caliber. Minato himself became regarded as the village's hero and indeed one of the greatest ninja Konoha had ever produced so much so that villagers would regret his death whenever tragedy struck the village. Because Minato was never able to tell anyone what happened during the Ninetales attack, villagers came to their own conclusion and the Uchiha were suspected of the act, creating ill will that would culminate in the Uchiha clan downfall. Jiraiya recognized that Minato would not have sealed the Ninetales into his own son unless he had a good reason and that Minato intended Naruto to gain control of the Ninetales, but he could never conclude why. After the end of the fourth Shinobi World War, his student, Kakashi Harake became the 6th Hokage, and his son, Naruto, became the 7th Hokage. Several years after the war, Minato had two grandchildren, both who inherited his prodigious talent. Did you enjoy our video? Make sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.